Welcome. Today we're going to talk about a new Obsidian plugin that I found called Book Search. One of the big problems I've had with tracking a lot of my books is that it's kind of in two applications. One is called Book Buddy, one is called Storygraph. And so that kind of splits up all of my reading because I can't track, say, my library books and Book Buddy because that's about book ownership and tracking your, you know, my books behind me, my library. And the other one is more about just tracking what you're reading. So it doesn't do a good job of tracking what you own. Uh, but book search allows me to deal with both of those things. So let's dive in. So we're going to demo this. I'm going to enter in a uh, brief history of misogyny by Jack Holland. So one of the hard parts about this is it doesn't like offer any scanning on the mobile devices, either of your uh, ISBNs. So I'm going to open it up I'm going to type book and I create a new book. And I've actually already typed this in to make sure it was right. Cause I mistyped it a couple times trying to record this already. I'll paste it in. Hit enter, and now it has a brief history of misogyny by Jack Holland. And I can hit enter, and it's populated my note for me. You can see in here, all I have to do now is also put in uh, my read status, and that's red, and it was red last year, so I don't necessarily care about the exact date at this moment. So let's just call it February 4th, best day in the world. Library is owned, format is paper back. Let's just make sure this is in my books. So now I've got this populated. I've got all of my data as a YAML front matter in here, and that is excellent. Now some things you can do here, if you see there's actually a bunch of extra data that you wouldn't get if you're just starting with this plugin. So if we go into our settings, you can see I've added author series, and I've tagged it, I've added aliases, date started, date finished, uh, read status, library, format, genre. So you can add all your own YAML in here that you like to use. It comes with some YAML, but I am not going to use the YAML that it provides because I actually have a bunch of my own YAML from other formats from, you know, there's a couple, I don't know, probably 50 or 100 books in here that already have my own format, and I don't want to go redo them. A new thing it's added, this is good because it's showing development already. So when I first looked at this two weeks ago, maybe, you couldn't add your own text after. You just could only add YAML, and that was it. So now we can actually add our own stuff in here. So I put in notes because that's what I want to see. In fact, I could just probably... Looking at that one that just came up, I'll add an enter, and now it would say notes. So now I actually have my notes on the book. You see notes showed up there. So the new enter should create a line break here so that I have space. So now I have this new book added in. I know I, uh, I read it last year. I know it's read. I own it. I own it in paperback, and I have a bunch of the other stuff on here. Um, now, the one of the bad things, one of the detriments is I can't take out the YAML it provides. So like finish date, start date. Status, I don't need any of those. Uh, rating, I've already got my own system, right? I've already got my own things down here for that rating, everything else. Now, I probably need to take out my own ISBN stuff because it's pre-populating them and format that for myself um, so that I have the ISBNs later so I would go back and modify those notes. Now, there's a couple interesting things we can do. Let's open up my note for this post, actually tracking your library. And I've actually turned this into... Um, not into live preview because it's easier to show how this works uh, if I'm not in live preview. So on one side here, I've got my query. And on the other side over here, I've got my, um, let's scroll those up so you can see them both. All right, so you can see over here, I've got my query and I've got my books right here. So you can see um, I'm using data view for my first query and I want to know which books I'm currently reading, which ones are in progress. And so I did a table query, date started, by date finished, pages and library, that's my headings, right? Up here, date started, date finished, pages and library from tag book, where reading status equals in progress and sort by disseminating. So there's two books in there, which is good. That gives me uh, knowledge of what is um, what I'm currently reading. So the next one I've used, this one requires Obsidian Tracker as a plugin, uh, which is an interesting plugin. I haven't loved the documentation. I actually spent a bunch of time this morning really working this query out and getting it to work as expected, which took a while. Um, so in Tracker, we have a few parameters as well. This one is going to track how many books I've read in 2022 so far. And these queries are available in the blog post associated with the um, with this video. So if you go, now I'm doing search type. So I want to search my front matter. So if you remember in my front matter, and we can open up this book. Let's open up, uh, split this, oh, split horizontally, and let's open up uh, fooled by randomness. There we go. 
and we'll go back to that. So I am going front matter, date started. And so one of the harder parts in here that it took me a little while to figure out was setting my date query properly. And so in mine, I'm saying date started, right? Which is my own front matter. And then you have to set your X data set. So this is setting which part of your data is the actual date in here. And so it's set to zero. It's the first one. I tried a few other ones, just set it to zero. Zero is a programming thing. Everything starts at zero, right? This is technically parameter one. Even though it's the second one, programmers, it's parameter one because everything starts at zero. And then I'm doing a text search for read status red. Uh, now this is clearly uh, read status in progress, but this was for red books only. So if I change this, change this over to red, it would actually update as a red book for the year. Um, and I'd have to add in date uh, finished as well, probably actually. So I actually noticed that this is uh, incorrect. So date, date finished. So that would now work properly. There you go. Books read 17. So that could actually have some uh, error there because I might start a book on December and then finish it in January. So that is better now. Uh, clearly it didn't. Now I hit date start and date end, right? I define them as year, month, day, year, month, day. And I have a summary. And that was one of the query types that I preferred. Books read, uh, double curly brace, sum, double uh, brace. And you have to do double colon as well. And then I, if I don't do the double colon and I, I get like 17.0 as my parameter. And I don't really want that. I just want the actual number without like a fraction with a decimal point in there. And that gives me my uh, books read in 2022, right? If I'm going to do it in 2021, I would just change the dates in here. I don't have the data for that. Really, I have some data, but not all for my 2021 reading in Obsidian. So I'll actually have to go back and update a bunch of my reading books, find them, see if they're in there and add the YAML to the top to make sure that I can do these queries for previous years. This is a good plugin. I really like it. I like the queries I can produce, but there are some issues with it. My first is that I can set some YAML, but not all. So I can set my own YAML, but I can't go in and modify the YAML that exists in the plugin. So as you saw, like I already have date started, date finished, and they have other values for that that I don't need. So I wish I could go in and customize the YAML that's provided for me. Um, or just, you know, if they had a template, here's all the YAML that's right at the beginning, you can modify it or add what you want to it at the end. That would be great if I could just modify any of the YAML that came in to my notes. Second, and we can go actually go back to here. Uh, and we'll just add any book. I don't care what it is. New book. Oh, let's go book search. Sir, first book search. Something new. So it doesn't really give me in here something new under the sun, something new. Any indication of what type of book I'm doing? Is this the paperback? Is this the hardcover? Anything like that? I don't know. Uh, I'd like to see that um, in part because I'm honestly a little picky about what I get for my books. I'd like to know if I own paperback or the hardcover or the Kindle or anything like that. So that doesn't really allow me to address this problem. I have to enter in the ISBN, which just is a little more laborious because you have to type the number correctly. Third, book search doesn't deal with multi-author books. Well, if we go back to my notes, I'll use my bottom corner. I saved one for this, Skyward Flight. So I added this book earlier, and it added Brandon Sanderson and Jancy Patterson. But this is not valid YAML. This is not going to work. And you can see it doesn't actually show up as my in-progress books. So I actually need to come back in and modify this. So I'll have to come back into my multi-author book. Two spaces, dash. And now we'll have it show up here. There you go. Skyward Flight. And now I know that it is owned, that I am reading it. But it did not deal with the multi-author book very well. Uh, it needs to do that. I don't even know that there's a solution for that. So overall, I think Book Search is a great plugin. I am going to be migrating uh, all of my own um, stuff over to it, all of my own books read, and then I'm going to be using, spending some more time in um, the Obsidian Tracker plugin as well, uh, because I think I can build a lot more tracking, track the pages, numbers read, I can look at months, there's a whole bunch of other graphs I can do in there, but I haven't dug into that deep enough yet to have that fully ready, because it's just, yeah, I don't love the documentation on that plugin. So that will be in the future where I'll show like a full book tracking dashboard for you. Now, if you like this video today, thumbs up below. If you loved it, subscribe, hit the bell. If you really want to support the channel, though, the best way to do that is to go take a course. You can go to curtismichael.ca slash education to get any of my courses, or you can go to curtismichael.ca slash membership and just support the channel there where you get all my courses included. If you're on Skillshare, links below to the courses on Skillshare. Also, that supports the channel. Have an excellent day.